This field is on gate. They're off in pace on the 10th. The free off from the outside. Bombino, Tommy Horton, drive for the lead, and uh, that's Southwind Miranda. Middle of the racetrack, we've got the uh, Sweetheart Stance at the pylons. Panic Depressive. Around the turn and down the back stretch they go. Along the inside, Panic Depressive, Ronnie Pierce, short lead. Right alongside, Sweetheart's Dance and Lightning Luke. They move to take over. Southwind Miranda is moving up, now to challenge the lead. These are the top two fillies in the race. They're at each other. On the outside, Southwind Miranda and Brennan have made the lead. 27-3 for the opening quarter. On the far turn, the first time, Southwind Miranda leads it by a length and a half. Sweetheart's Dance right there in second. It's a gap of two lengths. The Panic Depressive in third as they head to the half-mile pole at Friol. On top of the field, Southwind Miranda and Brennan show the way over Sweetheart's Dance. Two back to Panic Depressive in third. She's a soccer fourth to the outside. Mona Tricks is fifth. Bombino sixth. She's a beauty part of the entry seventh. And... O'Donnell trails the field with Village Sovereign. They're halfway home in 56 seconds even. Down the back stretch they go. These two-year-old fillies looking for fame and fortune. The winner gets 50 grand. On top of the field, Southwind Miranda looking for her third straight win. In front by two. Up on the outside. Here's the Manzi man. Mona Tricks makes a big move for the lead. Mona Tricks up the collar. Southwind Miranda. Three quarters and one. 26 and 2. On to the final turn they roll. Along the inside, Southwind Miranda, Mona Trixon from the far outside. Village Sovereign and the Magic Man. He's got his magic going today. They're in the stretch for the finish. Out in the middle of the racetrack. Village Sovereign, Hall of Famer, William O'Donnell, the master of Franklin Lakes. He gets the job done. Mona Trixon, she's a beauty. 158 flat. A complete unofficial order finish has been posted here in the 10th race. It's upset time at Freehold. The unofficial winner, 7, Village Sovereign, closes on the board at 35 to 1. Finishing second was 4, Mona Tricks. Third was 1, She's a Sacra. Hold all tickets into the result of the 10th race has been declared official. Big upset. One A, uh, she's a beauty. Was third. It's seven four one A, part of the entry in the third slot. Big upset win for Village Sovereign. She had won one race before in seven starts. She picks up fifty thousand dollars today for H. Charles Armstrong of Inglewood, Ontario, Canada. Back to the winner's circle is seven, Village Sovereign, a two-year-old bay filly by Cam's Card Shark from Steinem, my Falcon Almahurst. On by H. Charles Armstrong, Inglewood, Ontario, Canada. And the winning driver, he's the Hall of Famer from Franklin Lakes, New Jersey, the magic man, Billy O'Donnell. For Billy O., this is his second straight victory, a second win of the season at Friol. He'll take him any way he can get. A big winning effort with Villa's Sovereign today. This is a lifetime racing record for Villa's Sovereign. She tours Friol Raceway this afternoon in 158 flat. The result of the 10th race at Friol is official. The 7-4 exacta, big one, $843.20. 7-4 exacta, $843.20. And the result of our final pick three this afternoon, 2-7-7. Seven, and seven. Returns $210.20. 2 seven, seven, pick three, $210.20. In the winner's circle is Leon Zimmerman, the president of the Harness Track Publicists, making a presentation to Bill O'Donnell, winning driver with Village Sovereign. 
And here is Ellie Sarama and the pride of Franklin Lakes, William O'Donnell. Okay, well, a shocker on the tote board, but not really a shocker to see her in the winner's circle. Bill, from post five in the elimination, interfered with at the start. She was good at the end of the mile to finish second. How about today? Well, she, she raced really well. You know, they get over the half fast, and she just kind of picked the pieces up today. But last week, she raced really well. They come good in the end, and she come with them and went by three or four of them. She's a nice filly. She looked pretty strong. Now, if uh, we didn't have that kind of a fast pace, post position eight certainly makes... Uh, a big difference on a half mile track and if you didn't have that quick of a pace up front did you think you could get in it no not at all i didn't have much choice you know she, i just took her back and just hoped that you know what happened would happen and it did and good labor day oh absolutely congratulations winning the philly bavick with village sovereign her mama was a good a good one steinem yeah very good her mama and her daddy and her daddy all right congratulations billy winning all right let's go back to jackie lee jack Here's the order finish of the 10th race at Friol. She's a Sacra, was 7th. She's a Beauty, was 